Now, if you're like me and you own an Omega Speedmaster Professional, like this one, uh, in this instance, one with Hesslite crystal and a solid case back, and you're thinking, I'd really like an open case back so I can see that glorious 1861 or 3861 movement, whichever flavor you own. Well, you can. You don't have to buy another watch. You can buy a clear case back and fit it. In this video, what I'm gonna do is remove the case back from my old Speedmaster Professional that I've had since 2018. I'm gonna dive in there. Whilst I'm in there, I'm going to lube up the, the winding stem to make it a little bit easier to wind. And I'm also gonna fit the clear case back. So hopefully it'll work out. Stay with me. I'm Andy and welcome to the English Watch. Now this channel is about me and my watch collecting journey, an amateur enthusiast with an eye for detail, helping like-minded individuals like you start your watch collecting journey. Now if you like this video, why not give it a thumbs up and whilst you're there, why not subscribe? Now what I've done is I've bought um, a clear case back for my Speedmaster. This is the uh, 1861, so from 2018, manual wind, yeah, quintessential Speedmaster. Um, now I did sell my 861 Speedmaster recently uh, and I did mention that uh, I had thoughts of buying a clear case back version. Now I don't really want another Speedmaster in my collection. I want the money for something else. And that's a story for another day. Um, so I went on the forums and I looked at, you know, who does the best um, aftermarket clear case backs. It's really difficult to buy genuine Amiga parts. And I don't know if the clear case back from the 1863 model uh, from this generation will actually fit anyway. It might be a different case. I don't know. Anyway, the forums led me to Spiral Winder, which is an American company. They sell clear case backs for a number of different watches and they're worth looking into. Now, Spiral Winder um, supply these clear case backs for a number of different watches. Uh, they make them out of 316L stainless steel, so the same material as the Speedmaster itself. They come with a hard uh, sapphire crystal, so you can see through with an anti-reflective coating, which is cool. Um, mine come, came with the text which matches that on the back of my Speedy, so flight qualified for all manned space missions or something, uh, which is great as well. And even the little recesses for where the, the tool docks in, they've been media blasted, so there's good contrast between the polished outer surface and those little dimples. Now, before we go to the bench and do some close-up work of me taking the watch the bits and hopefully not messing it up, is we're also going to grease up the winding stem. Uh, Alex from the Watch Professional, he recommended that um, I complained that my watch was pretty stiff to wind. He said, whip the stem out, rub it in some Rodico uh, to, to sort of clear it up a bit, and then put some silicon grease on it and stick it back in and hopefully that should solve it. So we're gonna give that a go. So we've got a bit of a double open heart surgery today. We're gonna to do a double bypass. So let's dive to the bench and let's see how it works out. Okay, so I've removed the bracelet from the watch and I've also given it a good clean. Uh, it's important not to have any grunge around the edge. You don't want anything getting into the movement. Now in terms of tools, most importantly, we're gonna use these finger cots. So that'll prevent me getting any fingerprints on anything that uh, may leave a permanent mark, especially on the, the glass case back. We have a selection of screwdrivers, I'm not too sure which size the screw is to release the stem, but we'll see. I've also got some Rodico. This is a bit like uh, blue tack, but it's good for getting um, smudges off glass and if there's any bits of dust, it's great for, uh, for getting stuff off. It's a clear case back, just fits straight over, should replace this one. The text on the back is the same, text font, is I would say a little bit smaller but I guess once it's on we won't notice any difference. First time this one's seen the light of day since 2018. Now underneath the case back there's normally and I'm expecting to see uh, the anti-magnetic shield which we have here. Now obviously that can't stay on. So to get this thing off this is pretty loose so I'm just going to tip the um, tip the watch over and there you go. That just comes off. 
and then you can see the glorious rhodium plated movement and this case back very nice and I've got to work out which screw it is to remove the um, the stem now Alex from the watch professional did tell me so I'm just going to check for reference so he's very kindly sent me a little picture with an arrow so it's that one there which I'm going to say is this one here so I don't want to take this out all the way I just want to give it a bit of a turn and see if I can pull the crown out Ooh. there you go and the stem has come out quite nicely now there is quite a bit of oil on there on here the black stuff which I'm assuming is good okay so what I've got to do is apply grease to the tube here now I'm going to use this screwdriver just to put some inside so that fits in there so a little bit of grease in there now what he did say is put some Rodico over this just to pick off any debris now there is some oil as I said and there could be some contamination on the stem so let's just dab that off with the Rodico get some of that old oil off not too much though right you can see the heart of the 1861 movement beating away so let's there you go put that back in right now I'm gonna now I've got that back in it's gonna uh, screw this back down again now if anyone's interested this screwdriver I think it was a 0.7 millimeter so that was just the job so what we need to do now is just blow out the um, blow out the movement. That looks pretty nice actually. I think um, it's easy to look at these things, you know, under a magnifying thing. Oh my god, you can see all the machining marks and everything else. But actually, with my fifty odd year old eyes. I don't think I'll be looking that hard. Right, let's just rodico the back of that. Now this does have a sort of vinyl cover on the back, so hopefully there's no smudge there. Right, here we go. Hopefully this just works a treat. It's just blown my mind in terms of the expectations here. I like the writing as well, but I have to say... Oh, yeah, that's much better. That winds quite a bit nicer now. Let's just make sure it still works. Chronograph engaged. Set the time. And yeah, that still works. Sweet. All right. Look at this. So excited. Now, I've got to keep this piece somewhere special. Uh, so maybe in the bag that the other one came with and I've got a spare gasket and obviously my magnetic shield now obviously this movement is no longer protected from magnetism but hey who cares when you've got that to look at right what I'm going to do now is stick it on an atom strap see how it looks not tried one of these sandy coloured ones what do you reckon I think that looks pretty cool let's put it on the wrist well the good news is I didn't mess up the watch still runs perfectly well and it winds really nicely so greasing that stem and just sort of cleaning off uh, some of the old oil was was worth doing definitely and it wasn't too bad, you just need the right tools and a little bit of a brave pill. So what do I think? Well, firstly, thanks to Artem for sending in these straps. I mean, this one is the, I call it Sandy Mojave style strap. 
doesn't contrast desperately well with my pale skin, but it's quite light and summery. Really like that. And more so, liking what is this superb new display case back for my Speedy. So no longer do I have to lust after the display case back models. Do I sell my Speedy and buy the, new, the other one? I don't need to because I've got the best of both worlds. I've got the, uh, I used to call it the, um, is it the Heslite sandwich? I can't remember. They used to do one that had the Heslite crystal with the clear case back. I guess I've got that. It's a bit of a hybrid. Call it a Franken watch. I don't care. I think it's great. And with that anti-reflective coating, yeah, you could almost swear that there was no case back on it at all. It's superb. Anyway, um, let me know if you've done a similar mod to your Speedy. So I'll be really interested in your thoughts. Yeah, was it worth doing? Would you do it yourself? Do you like to keep it OEM and original? I normally do, but I'm also a tinkerer, which is why I've got a million different straps. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you like it, please hit the thumbs up and why not subscribe? But for now, I'm Andy. This has been The English Watch. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.